welcome back to the channel this is vlog five day five um, and today we're going to be going to the france training this afternoon now guys unfortunately i couldn't make the england training this morning and um, like i said i was actually going to in my vlog last night because um i was editing my vlog instead and i had a bit of work to do but this afternoon we are going to the um, France training. So that's really exciting because obviously France take on Norway on Wednesday and I will be going to that game and I will be in the press box. That's dead exciting. But yes, yeah, so that's the plan for today. But as I said, I do apologise that there was nothing from um, the England training. Some of um, the other UOD footy journals did go to the training, but unfortunately I couldn't make it, as I said, because I was vlog editing my vlog. I would have done it last night, um, but it got very, very late. So apologies for that. But this is day five. So let's go. So guys, I am now about to head out to the Franz Open training session. But before I do go, I just want to quickly say this. So I've received a phone call this afternoon um, from BBC Radio Cumbria, which is my local radio station back at home, um, asking me if I want to be on the radio tonight talking about the Women's World Cup and the game last night, obviously, between Scotland and England. So I absolutely made up. I'm so excited. It feels so surreal. Like, I'm going to be on the radio for the first ever time tonight. I've never done anything like this before. So I'm so excited. A little bit nervous, you know, obviously. That's just normal though isn't it but i can't wait and um, so yeah i'll let you know how that goes later on um, and if you obviously i've put it on my social media and um, people from cumbria like my obviously like my hometown and stuff will be able to tune in like from where like around the area you know cumbria and um, but yeah so i'm really excited and um, but yeah i can't wait and i'm looking forward to going now to fran's opening training <laughs> Um, and then later we're going out for food. There's not many, as many of us here tonight because um, one group's gone out to Montpellier for the game, so it's not going to be in, as many of us. But yeah, we will be going out for food. And um, so yeah, I'm going to head back now. And, yeah. It's over in the south of France, covering the World Cup. Emma, what's it like to be in France at the at the Women's World Cup? What are your emotions at the moment? Oh, it's absolutely amazing. It just feels so surreal. Like I'm just. A 19-year-old girl from Cumbria, from Big Rig, and I'm out covering the Women's World Cup in France. It's just such an amazing opportunity, and I can't thank the University of Derby enough for it. It's absolutely amazing, surreal. Great experience. So what did you think of England's performance last night then? Um, I thought they played pretty well in the first half. I thought they had a really good first half. Obviously scored two goals. Obviously Nikita Parry scored 14 minutes in and then Ellis White scored 40 minutes in. Really good goals. I think the second half was a little bit different, obviously. I feel like maybe the nerves were getting better with the England side. I think they got a little bit tiresome. And then obviously um, Scotland scored 79 minutes in. Um, I think... There's a lot to improve on, but to get a result, a 2-1 result in their first game in the Women's World Cup 2019, I don't think they'll be complaining about that. I think it's a good result to kickstart the World Cup for them this year. Georgia Stanway came on and had a chance. How big a part do you think she could play in the tournament then, Emma? Um, I think she will have a, um, a big part to play, you know. I mean, obviously last night, she only, well, she came on 80, 82 minutes in, so she didn't have that, like, much same time um, but in the future I feel like she will play a little bit more um, and I definitely ex expect to see more of her in this competition for sure I think she'll have a good World Cup. So not a perfect performance from England but the big important win how far do you think England can go? Well this might be a little bit biased but it's coming home I really do <laughs> think that I'll, let's say England are going to go all the way for sure. 
Wonderful stuff. Emma, good to hear from you. And uh, we'll speak to you, no doubt, during the tournament. That's Emma Hartley, a sports journalist in France for the Women's World Cup. It is a quarter to six. So, guys, um, I've just been on the radio. It was a surreal experience. It was absolutely amazing. And it was so touching to know that my family and friends were listening from home. And when I, or honestly, right, when I FaceTimed my parents straight after, um, like being on the radio my mum was in tears it was so emotional honestly yeah it's surreal it's such an amazing experience I still can't believe that and um, yeah absolutely amazing like oh my god and um, now guys we are heading into town and we're gonna go get some food and then that'll be it for today I think and um, but yeah it's been an amazing and very very productive day again and um, but yeah I'm very very excited I've got a massive smile on my face So guys, that is the end of my vlog for today. It's been a really productive day. I've been on the radio, I've been on um, to the France Open training session. I also found out tonight that I've had a piece of work published. Um, so yeah, that's great um, to have my first piece of work published out here. Um, so make sure to check that out. I have shared it on my social media if you want, obviously. Um, but yeah, so tomorrow we are going to the France and Norway um, press conferences in preparation for Wednesday's game because obviously on Wednesday night France take on Norway and I will be at that game guys and I will be in the press box and um, so yes that's what the next few days until um but yeah so I hope you enjoyed this vlog and I will see you all tomorrow bye